And people, and the big thing now is they're kicking out both, um, listen to this, they're kicking out lactic acid and succinic acid. Uh, succinic acid leaves the TCA, it always should stay in the TCA cycle if you're respiring. But the tumor cells are dumping succinic acid out. And not only that, succinic, succinic acid stabilizes HIF-1-alpha, a major oncogene. Uh, the stabilization of HIF-1-alpha allows the glycolytic pathway to proceed at maximal, maximal uh, efficiency hmm. uh, turned on. So the oncogenes that we have now found out, like HIF-1-alpha and MYC, these oncogenes are facilitators of allowing the cell to shift to a fermentation metabolism. Hmm. Because if the oxphos becomes chronically disrupted, uh, oncogenes turn on, open the floodgates to get glucose and glutamine into the cell yeah. to replace to replace the we to replace the um, uh, re reduction in energy through oxidative phosphorylation. Yeah. Well I think this starts to bring us to the idea that um, I wanted to get to, which is you know, we can juxtapose a somatic mutation theory and a mitochondrial meta meta metabolic theory here for, for oncogenesis, but these things are not mutually exclusive, right? You can have metabolic shifts that say generate reactive oxygen species and, and lipid peroxides that then mutate the DNA. And as you just mentioned, you can apparently have DNA mutations that actually then facilitate or lock in metabolic shifts. Well, I don't know if they're mutations that they're, they're uh, when you, when you, when you, uh, uh, this is what Greg Semenza found when, when, when oxygen, uh, becomes deprived, uh, HIF one alpha, which is made and broken and made and broken becomes, becomes, uh, stabilized hmm. and that immediately upregulates the fermentation pathway. So it's not it's really a mutation. It's, it's a, a gene expression to, change. Yeah. It's a, it's a gene expression thing. So, uh, so what happens is that you are now allowing, um, oncogenes to be, uh, expressed, uh, and uh, and on and and of course if the if the oxygen um, comes back the oncogenes are 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 are, are downregulated. I so, see. So it's metabolic change in tandem with epigenetic changes in expression of genes rather than mutations in the sequence itself. Absolutely. Yes. So and 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 this is what this is what was shown um, when when you take a cancer cell that has oncogene expression. And you uh, and you have abnormal mitochondria in there, uh, deficient oxidative phosphorylation. You see these oncogenes on, and when you put new mitochondria, the oncogenes turn off because you don't need them anymore because mm -hmm. they're respiring. Mm -hmm. so, 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 but they are absolutely they're essential to maintain viability of the cell uh, when oxidative phosphorylation is insufficient to maintain viability. So mm -hmm. they'll do it.